In this video, I'm going to just show you how we're setting up a MOXA end port device in what we call pair connection mode. And this will run serial devices between your lane and the office. And here's the test setup that's set up here. Uh, we have one side representing the office and one side representing the lane and the fiber that connects the the, the groups together. So that's what it looks like. Over here we have an end port device that you connect your serial devices to. Then through an ethernet cable on the end port you connect it to this MOXIE, uh, the MOXA um, switch. MOXA switch has a pair of fiber optic connectors for ST connections. And so that will get you your connection over to this side and again back into the end port. You can see we got port activity, we got one port connected. Um, these are uh, when you set up pair connection mode, um, I have the office side set up as um, the, the master and the lane side set up as the slave and we'll have instructions for that. These are 24 volt devices, so we have a 24 volt power supply that has all this running all these devices. These are DINRAIL connected devices. You can see they have little connectors there for the DINRAIL so they just latch right on. And with this test I'm running an HMI. This is running serial communications. I've got no errors um, other than some overruns because there's no flow control. It's just 2, 3, and, and 5. Okay, but you can see I, you know, it's it's running just fine. And we're running the SCADA system that's communicating to the HMI through this serial connection, which is a 232 connection. This happens to be running the Modbus protocol 192 odd none and one. It's the COM settings. See the communications from the computer. From the HMI. It's coming across. Going into the, the office side. Coming out the lane side. To the PLC. So it's all working. And that's how it's all connected together. Okay, when you're uh, putting these MOXs together in this configuration. Again, this is pair connection mode where we have a slave and a master. Um, the slave and the master being you know, the MOXA device, not the switch. Uh, the switch is you don't have to do any configuration on the switch at all. Um, only on the bottom device here, which is the end port. Okay, and again we have a slave and a master. I would recommend um, that you have some connectors. This, is, this would take your uh, lane 25 pin connection into it and give you a 9 pin connection out the other side they can plug straight into the port and I'd also recommend having um, this is a, a null modem so if you put this on there um, that'll swap pins 2 and 3 around for you so you can just connect that straight onto there and you might want to have some gender changers um, the gender changers just allow you to connect up to the end port in case you need to go from a male to a female um, connector. So I'd have a few of these handy uh, when you're doing your testing. Um, you can see I had to use a null modem here to get this side to work. Um, and where this side is just a straight cable. So the other side there with a the null modem, that just swaps two and three. And to save you cutting a bunch of your cables while you're testing, these come in real handy. These are like $2 each. All right, and these are a couple cents. So I'd just have a few of those. Once you perfect one lane and you get it all nailed down, then you can just redo your cabling and it should all work just fine. Okay, so I'm just going to run a little test here. Um, I'm going to power down both sides, both MOXs, and see how fast it takes to recover. You can tell when it's recovered because the lights will come back and start flashing again. Okay, all powers off the device. Back on. And it's still in, still recovering, just recovered now, so all your devices are now talking again. 
It took roughly 10 seconds to recover. Both sides were completely powered down. Comms has been restored and it's all working. So there's going to be a tool that you'll have, a software tool that comes with the Moxa endport. It's called Endport Administrator. So to get to one of your endport devices, so this is the endport's the only thing that needs configuration work. Uh, the switch doesn't need any configuration work. But if you have your laptop and you plug it into any one of these open ports, either at the office or any one of the open ports over here on the lane, and you run the Endport Administrator tool, then you can actually see both devices and configure either one of the devices um, from either the office or the lane with your laptop so that's a pretty good feature um, just so you know that you can plug into either side any of these open ports run in port administrator it'll discover the devices and it will allow you to monitor things and and troubleshoot and configure on um, the devices so you'll you'll see that tool and uh, it works really good